Hello. One of the things you can still do in lockdown is have a crack with your next door neighbour over the garden fence. You're socially distanced and that's what I've been doing this morning. Having a crack with one of my neighbours. We've done a wee bit of politics but we soon got sick of that. We got on to gardening. I grow vegetables, he grows vegetables. And the conversation went a lot around what had we grown that we were happy with this year and what had we grown that didn't do as well as we wanted it to do. Uh, and for my part I said yeah potatoes, happy with my potatoes, onions, happy with the onions, uh, leeks didn't do so well, carrots are poor, beetroot's poor and he interrupted me and said well hold on did you say your beetroot wasn't so good? I said yeah he said I've got a bed full of beetroot here we won't be able to eat it all do you want some? I thought well yeah why not let's do this yeah I'll, I'll pop round so we're still socially distanced he opens the gate I go into his garden he goes down one side of his bed I go down the other boy wait wait till you see this beetroot I'll tell you now I would love to be able to say this is one of my beetroot but it isn't it's from the chap next door blimey I've never seen beetroot as big right let me get it and pop it up on this table wow hey how about that how about that I've never seen a beetroot as big it's enormous it's a monster I've gone to have to measure this I've gone to have to weigh it blimey I've never seen a beetroot as big as this one um, but what he said was sometimes when vegetables get bigger than normal um, they turn woody or they become hollow inside so I won't know if this is a good beetroot until I've cooked it which is something I'm going to do later today and I will tag on to the end of this video but hey let's get my measuring stick and let's measure this beetroot and then I think we'll pop it on the scales what do you think? Yeah, that's a good idea we'll measure it we'll pop it on the scale this is my measuring stick I've marked it off at one inch intervals okay we'll pop that there And what we're going to do is we're going to measure the circumference of this beetroot using this piece of twine. Okay. So if I nip that there and take it off that's the circumference from there to there of that beetroot right let's measure it off well what do you make that that's what I make it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen Wow that beetroot 16 inches circumference that's got to be whoa let's that's got to be just over 40 centimeters in circumference that is a big beetroot <laughs> believe you me that is a big beetroot blimey right what we're going to do now we're going to take the tops off get the scales up on this table uh, and weigh it Oh, but what I will tell you before I do weigh this, um, obviously uh, we need to eat this beetroot to prove that it's got quality, don't we? So we need to cook it, which is what I've said I already do. And if it has got quality, I want to grow these beetroot next year. Look at the size of it. So I asked my neighbour um, what variety it was. Unfortunately, he couldn't remember, but what he could remember was that there weren't that many seeds in the packet 
Now that tells me this is an F1 variety. That's a, a characteristic of buying F1 seeds. You don't get many. You just don't. And he was complaining that he didn't get many seeds in the packet. So he was a wee bit upset. But hey, how many of these do you need? You know, how many do you need? If that turns out to be a good beetroot, you don't need that many, do you? Um, so yeah, once we've cooked it and tasted it, I'm growing these next year, provided they've got the quality. And my neighbour has already said he thinks he might be able to find uh, the information that I'm after and tell me what variety this is. And if he can do that, and provided this does taste okay, it'll be in the video somewhere. I'll tell you what variety of beetroot this was. Okay, let's get the skills up here. This is my measuring stick. I've marked it off at one inch intervals. Okay, we'll pop that there. And what we're going to do is we're going to measure the circumference of this beetroot using this piece of twine. Okay. If I nip that there and take it off, that's the circumference from there to there of that beetroot. Right, let's measure it off. Well, what do you make that? That's what I make it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Wow! That beetroot 16 inches circumference! That's got to be, whoa, let's. That's got to be just over 40 centimetres in circumference. That is a big beetroot, <laughs> believe you me. That is a big beetroot, blimey. Right, what we're going to do now, we're going to take the tops off, get the scales up on this table, uh, and weigh it. Oh, but what I will tell you before I do weigh this, um, obviously, uh, we need to eat this beetroot to prove that it's got quality, don't we? So we need to cook it, which is what I've said I'll already do. And if it has got quality, I want to grow this beetroot next year. Look at the size of it. So I asked my neighbour um, what variety it was. Unfortunately, he couldn't remember, but what he could remember was that there weren't that many seeds in the packet. Now that tells me this is an F1 variety. That's a, a characteristic of buying F1 seeds. You don't get many. You just don't. And he was complaining that he didn't get many seeds in the packet. So he was a wee bit upset. But hey, how many of these do you need? You know, how many do you need? If that turns out to be a good beetroot. You don't need that many, do you? Um, so yeah, once we've cooked it and tasted it, I'm growing these next year, provided they've got the quality. And my neighbour has already said he thinks he might be able to find uh, the information that I'm after and tell me what variety this is. And if he can do that, and provided this does taste okay, it'll be in the video somewhere. I'll tell you what variety of beetroot this was. Okay, let's get the skills up here. I've got the scales, uh, but while I was indoors getting them, I found a tennis ball. You'd have to say a beetroot the size of a tennis ball is a good beetroot, wouldn't you? Tennis ball sized beetroot, does that sound about right? Let's check this guy out against a tennis ball.
<laughs> now then, now you get a sense of scale. Blimey! This thing is sort of, I don't know, five tennis balls worth. This beetroot is about five beetroot that big. I'm going to have to stop saying it's a big beetroot. You'll be sick of hearing that, right? Let's get the gloves on, get the tennis ball off the table, and get the scales on the table. You'll be able to hear the lawnmower in the background, I would imagine. It's a lovely day here at homegrown veg and all the neighbours are out cutting the grass. Right, we'll just pop that down there and we'll take this top off like this and hopefully we won't get beetroot all over our hands. How's that? Throw that down there. Get the scales. Okay, what circumference did we say this was? 16 inches. Oh, right, let's see what weight it is. Blimey. Oh, once a roll. What weight is it? I'll need to come round your side. Wow. That's two pound. That's a two pound beetroot. That's just under one kilogram for one beetroot. 16 inch circumference, two pound in weight, in old money. Just over 40 centimetres and just under one kilogram in new money. Wow. Okay, now what we need to do is find a pan big enough to put this thing in. You will need to give me a minute now, just hold on. We need a pan. <sighs> right. More a stock pot than a pan. This is the biggest pan we've got. In fact, it's a stock pot, isn't it? It's a big one. Right, I'm afraid your uh, standard size pan wouldn't cut it, would it? It would not. There we go. So we'll go and put some water in this. Uh, get it on the stove. Uh, and give it quite a bit longer than you would, than you would normally give beetroot. But it's a biggie, isn't it? It's going to take quite a bit of cooking. Uh, so we'll have it on a, probably on a low light. For a long time. Right, let's get this thing indoors.
So we'll bring this up to the boil, then we'll turn it down to simmer and give it probably a couple hours, maybe even longer, I don't know. I've never cooked a beetroot as big as this before, never. It's another first for homegrown veg, in fact, I've never seen one as big as this before. Okay, let's bring it up to the boil and then we'll turn it down to simmer. So, this is the moment of truth. I brought the beetroot up to the boil, then turned the heat down, simmered it for two hours, then turned it off. The beetroot stayed in the pan overnight, cooled down this morning. I've skinned it and sliced it. The reason I haven't got that on camera is because I just thought, yeah, we need to be careful here, this is a big beetroot and if I make any mistakes and get beetroot all over the kitchen I'm really in the bad books uh, so he missed that bit but uh, here it is, look at that wow, it's a lot of beetroot right, let's taste it oh and by the way um, I've spoke to my next door neighbour this morning and he tells me the variety is a variety called War Dam. Well, I've got to tell you, it's definitely cooked and it's definitely beetroot. Yeah, that's beetroot okay. Yeah, it's lovely. It's lovely. And the variety again, war down. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. One thing I will say is that last night, um, after I settled down to watch a bit of YouTube, I actually looked for big beetroot and searched the internet for big beetroot. <laughs> and this isn't the biggest by a long chalk, but I've got to tell you what, it's the biggest beetroot I've ever seen. It really is. And it's cooked well and it tastes nice. So I would recommend it. War down. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is homegrown veg signing out.